Sunny's Materials in Sunnyvale is a high-tech kitchen. The chefs are really scientists dedicated to creating new recipes for green building products. The innovative menu includes a revolutionary drywall material and an ultra-energy efficient window. The company mission is aimed at reducing global warming. 52% of the CO2 worldwide is tied to the built environment. 12% to make our building materials annually and 40% to actually operate our buildings. Um, only 9% is cars. The process for making traditional drywall was developed in 1917 and is extremely energy intensive. One estimate is that the cooking of this material accounts for 1% of all industrial energy use in the United States. Serious Materials is developing a drywall replacement called Eco Rock. The secret ingredients literally cook themselves in four minutes. The company recently raised $50 million in venture capital and will start pilot production later this year. Paul Holland of Foundation Capital is a key investor. His firm has dedicated $400 million to clean tech. If you go back over time and you look at some of the great early stage venture markets, semiconductors in the late 70s and early 80s, the internet and software in the mid 90s, this is that type of marketplace that's opening up in front of us today. Just like semiconductors and the internet, no one believes green building is a fad. Serious Materials recently got national attention in Fortune and Time magazines. Contractors say customers are demanding the latest the industry can offer, even if costs are initially higher. That's the future, and you have to either get on that uh, that program or, or you're not going to be able to survive, I think, long term. The pore size is much smaller on these. Yeah. The CEO of Sirius Materials hopes his Eco yeah. Rock and Thermoproof High Insulating Windows will not only be a part of the green building movement, but part of the solution to global warming. If climate change is our emergency and buildings are the major problem, someone has to address this. In Sunnyvale, Karina Russ, ABC 7 News.